Today we're going to go over the assembly instructions for the extension Alphacade 3 quarter inch scale arcade machine. It is recommended to watch this video completely before beginning your assembly process. Regardless if you've purchased the emulator version or the controller that supports JAMA, the assembly of the cabinet will be exactly the same. Let's begin. Included hardware. 20 60 millimeter black bolts. 20 silver cross dowels. 4 M4 monitor screws and 4 washers and spacers. 1 Allen wrench and 1 grommet. Left and right side decals and 1 marquee decal. Clear plexiglass monitor bezel. Fully assembled controller. JAMA controller will appear to be slightly different. Now let's look at the included parts. Part number 1, right side upright. Part number 2. Part number 3. This part will require two cross dowels. Part number four. Part number five. Part number six. This part will require four cross dowels. Part number seven. This part will require four cross dowels. There is two part number sevens. Part number eight. Part number nine. There will be two cross dowels. Part number ten. Part number eleven. There will be two cross dowels and part number 12 left side upright. Additional tools required. One Phillips head screwdriver. Your first step is inserting the silver cross dowels into the cylinder pre-cut holes on these particular parts. Locate parts number three, number six, number seven, number nine, and number 11. Insert each cross dowel into each pre-cut cross dowel hole on the top of the board as shown. It is very important to make sure that the silver cross dowel slit is facing towards the pre-cut hole on the 3 quarter inch side. Make sure the slit is facing upwards or you will not be able to successfully connect your adjoining 60 millimeter bolt. Please be advised when installing the cross dowels into part number 7, you will need to note that the cross dowels will actually go into two different directions as shown. Again, make sure you have your cross dowels inserted in part number 3, part number 6, part number 7, part number 9, and part number 11. Applying graphics. Begin by locating the side graphics and peeling them off. But before you peel them, lay part number 1 and part number 12 flat on the ground with your gravings facing towards the floor. After you've peeled off your graphics with both hands, carefully line the graphics up and apply as shown. Again, it is helpful to use two hands to do this. You will want to follow the same procedure for the marquee graphic and apply this carefully to part number three. You will want to make sure that the two green pegs are facing down and you are applying the graphic to the smooth side of the board. Preparing the monitor. Take your third party monitor and lie face down on a flat surface. Make sure that all HDMI cables and power cables are plugged in securely at this time. Locate the four nylon spacers and place them over the visa mount holes on the back of your monitor as shown. Carefully lay part 8 on top of the nylon spacers so you can successfully see the screw thread of the monitor through the holes. Now insert your four M4 screws and washers into the holes proceeding to tighten therefore securing your monitor to part number 8. The assembly process. Lay part number one flat on the ground with the engravings facing up. Now locate part number two and note in red where you will be inserting. Securely peg part number two into place as shown. Now locate part number three and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part number three into place firmly as shown. Now locate part number four and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part number four in place securely, making sure that the engravings and the slit are facing down. Now locate part number five and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part number five into place and make sure the slit and engravings are facing up as shown. Now locate part number six and note in red where you will be inserting. Then make sure you insert firmly into place with the engravings facing inward. It is important to make sure all your cross dowels are inserted properly. Locate one of your part number sevens and note in red where it will be inserted. Proceed to peg in securely making sure the engravings are facing towards the back of the cabinet and the exposed green cross dowels are facing upwards. 
Now locate your additional part 7 and proceed to peg in firmly as shown. Again, make sure your engravings are facing towards the back of the cabinet and the exposed green cross dowels are facing upwards as these will be the cross dowels that support the inserted controller. Now locate part number 8 with your monitor attached and locate in red where you will be inserting. Line up part number 8 with monitor attached to what correspond previously in red and begin to feed your HDMI and power cables through the hole. Peg part number 8 into place with the TV attached and firmly press down on the top making sure the part is firmly secure. Now pull through any loose wires. It's important to make sure you don't pull too hard as you do not want to remove the HDMI or power connections from the TV. Locate part number 9 and note in red where you will be inserting. Firmly peg part into place with the engravings facing the inside of the cabinet. Locate part number 10 and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part number 10 in place and make sure the engravings are facing up towards the inside of the cabinet. Locate part number 11 and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part number 11 into place with the engravings on the inside of the cabinet. Make sure the arrow engraving and the finished side is facing upwards. Preparing the plexiglass bezel. Slightly peel back all four corners of one of the protective coatings of the bezel and then proceed to peel back a full inch from each side so you then can proceed to insert the plexiglass into the grooves. Then turn the plexiglass over and completely remove the protecting coating from the other side. Do not remove it from the original side. Installing the plexiglass bezel. It is important not to touch the unprotected side of the bezel at this time, so by using two hands you will carefully insert the bezel into the provided grooves. Make sure that the bezel is firmly secure in all three of the grooves by taking a rag or an old t-shirt and placing it on top of the plexiglass and providing pounding downward pressure till all three grooves are inserted. Closing the cabinet. Carefully lay part number 12 on top of the assembled parts. Now proceed to line up all of the green pegs with their corresponded peg hole on part number 12. It is best to start at the top side of the cabinet and with the palm of your hand pound with a downward motion once the pegs are lined up properly to make sure that the part is secure. Once all pegs are into place and the part is secure, you can proceed to insert eight of the black 60 millimeter bolts into the provided holes on the top of part number 12. These 60 millimeter bolts will correspond to the cross dowels you previously installed and you can use the included Allen wrench to proceed to tighten all eight bolts. Then you will want to carefully rotate the cabinet over to its opposite side and using another eight 60 millimeter bolts, you will want to insert those eight bolts and tighten as previously displayed in the last step. Installing the controller. Feed your cables through first, then drop in your controller using the four green pegs to line up the controller and firmly peg into place. Using four 60 millimeter bolts, insert into the four holes on top of the controller and proceed to tighten with your included Allen wrench. Additional details on the functionality of the controller you selected will be included in separate instructions. Peeling the plexiglass cover. Now simply peel back the remaining protective coating off of your plexiglass. Connecting to your device. Now you can connect your HDMI cable and controller connection to your desired device and begin hours of enjoyment with great retro gameplay. Congratulations, you have successfully assembled your 3 quarter inch scale extension alpha arcade cabinet.